Hi, church. Welcome to today's digital devotion and happy Friday. Today, we have a special digital devotion bringing you the one and only Nancy Felix, our new director of Children, Youth, and Families. We're so excited to chat with Nancy so that you can get to know her a little bit better if you haven't already. She's had amazing. Yet. You're going to love her if you You're haven't gonna met her. You're going to love her. So I just want to start off by saying that um, when Nancy and I had the initial conversation about her potentially stepping into this role, it truly felt like a Holy Spirit moment when what she was talking about and the fact that um, we knew that Pastor Laurel was leaving and everything aligned. And I just felt the Holy Spirit telling me, you have to talk to Nancy about possibly taking this position. And Nancy later shared that she felt the same way that that spirit was alive in that conversation. And lo and behold, here she is, our new director of Children, Youth, and Families. So Nancy, first, just tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, and how you came to Claremont UCC first as a member. Yeah, that's a good starting question. And thank you. I'm so glad just to comment on what you said. I'm so glad we had that coffee date. It yeah. didn't play out how I thought it was going to play out, but it played <laughs> out so much better than I could have ever imagined. So I'm glad um, we started there. Yes. But yeah, I... Um, have been going to CUCC for uh, about three years or three and a half years. I was I um, started when I was pregnant with my second child, and um, Pastor Jen and I were both pregnant around the same time with our baby girls. Um, so that was fun when I walked in um, and knew that we were we had that connection. We were both pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, my husband Matt and I we were we had come from another church and we were looking for a church that was exactly this. We wanted to see some women in charge. We wanted it to be open and affirming. We wanted it to be justice oriented. We wanted it to be fun. Um, we really wanted a church that had a Halloween party. So we <laughs> found that here. That was a big green flag for us. Um, so it just marked all the boxes. We uh, Matt and I have kind of always gone, gone to church as a couple, but we kind of would sit in the back and we were there for the Jesus stuff, but then we had to kind of keep quiet about some other things. And we immediately felt right at home uh, when we came here and we're like, oh my gosh, this is what we've been looking for the whole time. And um, it's funny when you talk to other people of how did you end up here? We kind of all say the similar thing of like, yes, this is what we've been looking for. We finally found it. Um, so it felt like we were in good company too, in that sense. Yeah, you, you've been such an important part of the community already. And so it was really beautiful as you came into this position that so many people and families at Claremont UCC knew you already, mm -hmm. trusted you. You have been the chair of the Children, Youth, and Families Board this last year. And so people have gotten to know you through that leadership. And then you've also just kind of helped put on amazing events. You were co-leading our It Takes a Village group already. And you were helping with things like the Halloween party, just making it even better. If you were here last Halloween Sunday and there was this incredible hospitality spread, that, that was the Nancy vision of Nancy Felix. Felix. Yeah. So it just gives you a little taste of, of what she's capable of. Um, yeah. But you're also coming into this position having other professional experiences. Mm -hmm. I think we would love to hear what mm -hmm. your work life has been like before this role. Yeah, I I um, do more than just a treat table. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I do do a good treat table. Um, I, my background is I got my master's in clinical psychology and I've been working as a marriage and family therapist. So I had, before this, I had a private practice that I saw people virtually. Um, I had, I worked with a few different insurance companies and I was doing one-on-one -on -one therapy as a marriage and family therapist. Um, there was a lot of great things about that. Uh, it was flexible as a mom of two. I could do that and be with them and work from home. Um, it was really meaningful work. So there was a lot of things I really enjoyed about that. And um, the great thing about this role is that some of what I learned being a therapist, I can use here. And then also here, there's just the added kind of joyous and fun piece of um, programming and spending time with kids that, that's an extra addition to this job. Yeah, we're really fortunate for you to be able to bring those skills that you have as a therapist to, yeah. to our community, to our youth groups, to our children programming, mm -hmm. to us as adults talking with you, interacting with you. I think that's going to be really valuable. Definitely. Yeah. I, you I, in your, oh, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just going to say, I think there are a lot of therapists that go to this church and we all would probably kind of agree that even when you're not working as a therapist, you kind of just are a therapist. You can't take, you can't turn it off. We can't help ourselves. Um, so probably people watching this feel the same way, but yeah, I think no matter what job I have, I'm going to be a therapist. Oh, yeah. Wherever sure. I'm at. If it's a party on Friday night, I find myself being a therapist. <laughs> can't escape it. Can't yeah. Escape it. Just in me. Yeah. Is it true you and your husband also owned a gym in your past? Yeah, we um, we did. My husband and I met at a gym, and then we branched off and opened up a cycle studio, and uh, it was a really fun adventure that got that unfortunately got cut short with COVID. But for a couple of years, it was a very fun adventure. Our our um, vision was to create this. Uh, gym community where everyone was welcome and all fitness levels we uh, specifically catered to people that have been intimidated by gyms and we wanted to be a really safe place where they could have fun and exercise get the heart rate up and we had awesome music and we had cool lights and everyone the feedback would be like I feel like I just went to a concert after my spin glasses um so it was a really fun uh little adventure my husband and I went on for a couple years um, well, and I, I'll say that one of the references we called when we were um, in the process of hiring you for this position was a client of yours at that gym and was literally in tears telling us how much you changed her life with your infectious energy and your positivity and your support. And so, again, we're, we're excited for you to bring all of that to our CYF program here. Yeah. Church. Everyone, welcome and awesome music. That sounds that like sounds church. Like church. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel that. It's a similar vibe here. I feel like I, uh, I'm i very comfortable jumping right in here. Yes. What's something you're looking forward to about this role and working with children and youth and families? Oh, gosh, there's there's so much. I mean, I hope I get to make more treat tables. <laughs> That's been fun. I think the thing that I've been enjoying the most right now or just kind of getting to start is getting back into a youth group. Um, when I was yeah, when I was a kid, when I was in high school and junior high, my favorite part of life was my youth group. I just, those were my people. I got so much joy from there. Um, I figured out who I am in that space. And it, it's been so meaningful to get to get back into that community and, and see what the youth are up to right now. They're so much cooler than I ever was, the youth at this church. Um, but there, there's just like an awesome group of, of young kids here and they're doing all these cool things and they're passionate about all this great stuff. It's so cool to see. And then um, just the joy of that that community of you know we're we're decorating cakes and reading bible studies and spending the night at the church and um dressing up in funny costumes but then having these like deep heart-to-heart -heart talks and figuring out big questions and then being really silly and like jumping back and forth from both spaces it's such a unique um like a unique space that i've only ever found in that youth group mm -hmm. uh, area so i'm really excited to get to be back into that community. Wow, that's beautiful. I love that. Yeah, I felt the same way um, coming into ministry that some of my most joyful childhood memories were from church, specifically from church camp yeah. in the summer. That was a big part of my life growing up and then also youth group as well. So here we are just living out our adult youth group dreams, yeah. uh, keeping that ministry going. I was so sad I had to leave youth group and I, I knew I'd figure out a way to get back. You came back. Here, here I am. Um, well, is there anything else that you'd like the church to know about you? Some fun facts. What do you like to do on a, on a Saturday, a day off? Um, favorite snacks? Yeah, well, I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old or almost six-year-old and a two-year-old. Um, so I have a lot of fun with them, my two little girls. Um, we love to go to Disneyland. We love Saturday morning baseball games. We love um, going to the zoo. Um, any adventures when it's my little family, I, I have a lot of fun with. Um, if, I guess if I could just, if I get to speak to the church, one thing that I would really want to say is how grateful I am for such a warm welcome. Um, everyone has been so supportive and encouraging. And on Sundays, um, 
people just say the most kind things to me that I don't know that I've deserved yet, but I really appreciate it. Uh, this is such a, a great community to jump into and the welcome that I've received, I'm so grateful for. Um, well, like Jacob said, the church already knows you and it's already so grateful for the ways you've served as a volunteer before stepping into this role. And so we're just thrilled to have you leading this uh, part of our ministry forward. And we can't wait to see what fun you have in store. Yeah. So if you haven't said hi to Nancy yet, try to snag her on a Sunday, introduce yourself. I'm sure she would love to meet you and it'd be good for her to know you as well. And I know that after your first sermon on the steps, you were really nervous, but everyone <laughs> Everyone thought it was awesome. Was great. And so let Nancy know how great her sermon on the steps are. Yes. Because <laughs> round two is this Sunday. Yes. Round two, and it's another Sunday coming up. <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Nancy. We're Thank so you. glad to have you on board. Thank you. Glad to be here.